comfy, but I realize it's a video. I just took a shower and I did my night routine. Not that I'm going to bed now, but it's too bright here. These lights are very, very bright. And um, I thought that I'd do my night routine now because then later when I get very, very sleepy, I'd be very, very lazy to do it. Um, I'm almost at the end. I just need to put my eye cream. I'm using this one from Brit Wolves. It's called Glow. I also have Innisfree's Orchid Eye Cream. So I like both, you know, and I just alternate them. But tonight we're doing the rituals. I just do it like this. So my night routine consists of obviously I shower first. I can never go to bed without a shower. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. Even if I'm, like today, I didn't go to work. I was just basically at home. I went outside for, for some errands. But um, I still take a shower before I go to bed. And so my night routine is after I wash my face, I do, I put on my peptides. I'm using the Ordinary's Buffet. And I let that sit for a minute or two and then I would put my retinol. I'm supposed to be starting to use the ordinary retinol but before um, when I moved here I couldn't get it straight away so I switched for um, Paula's Choice retinol serum and now I have the ordinary again but I'm I need to finish this first and this is really really good um, I remember I did an unboxing and I was supposed to do a follow-up review but I didn't get a chance to do it so um, this will be a quick review it's really really good it's done a lot on my skin because um I go to bed very late and I wake up really early so you know it does a lot of stress on your face when you're not resting well but what can I do? I just can't sleep early. I like to stay out late. Not out, stay up. I don't go out. I don't, I don't go out. I do go out, but I don't go out very, very late. So normally if I go out for dinner or, or drinks with friends, I would be back home. The latest would be midnight. Yeah, Cinderella time. So, um... I started to have um, stress wrinkles because work can be stressful and since I started using retinol which I wish I started way earlier then um, it has faded away not totally but it's not very obvious now I mean obviously when you smile you get those wrinkles and it has really done wonders to my skin and um, obviously when you're, use, um, when you're using retinol you have to be careful with UV ray, UV rays exposure so I'm also using um, sunscreen I have this one which is um, Zenova sunscreen it's, uh, it's a Dutch product and it has a 50% SPF and it's for sensitive skin like mine because um, I can't just put just about any product on my skin that's why I love The Ordinary because um, it's very very what you call this one hypoallergenic I don't they don't claim to be hypoallergenic but it's very mild on my skin and my skin has really really loved it and okay so after real retinol i finish it with a rose hip oil i don't like to have so many things on my face and i don't like a long routine so i just do that and every um every two weeks 
two days in a week, oh no, two times in a week, I do the AHA, BHA um, peeling solution. So whenever I do that, like tonight, I did that, so I didn't put my retinol. So I just did uh, wash my face and then I did the ordinary peeling solution, you know, the red one. And after that, straight away, I just put the rose hip oil. I don't even bother with the buffet, with my peptides. So, and I do that twice in a week. I don't do it uh, that often because I don't need that uh, much of skin peeling because um, thankfully, my skin doesn't really have a lot of dead skin cells. I mean, you can tell, you can feel your own skin. And I don't have that kind of problem don't really feel the need to constantly peel my skin I mean do a peeling solution for my skin so um yeah so that's my night routine um for my morning routine okay I'm just gonna it's it's very easy in the morning I do the buffet the peptides and then I do the niacinamide solution and then after that I have the this one which is a live on BHA liquid exfoliant from Paula's Choice and it does wonders to my skin too. I mean this kind of does really well to my skin. It may not work for everyone. A lot of people would say, oh you can't put uh, niacinamide and uh, BHA together on your skin. That's not, that's not good. That's not right. But it works for me and that's how it works for me. I mean what works for me might not work for you so be careful. Like. Uh, when I did it, I had to patch test on my skin first to see if I would have an allergic reaction. And it didn't. It worked well for me, so I kept it like that. And um, the last item that I had with Paula's Choice was the Skin Smoothing Retinol Body Treatment. This one I used is a, uh, a lotion, you know, like a body lotion. And you know, when you work in the kitchen, every now and then, you get burns and bruises and cuts. Not because you're clumsy, sometimes it just happens. Sometimes you do it to yourself, sometimes your colleagues um, are having a hard time in life. <laughs> no. Like, by accident, like, I have this one. I, my, my arm got caught in uh, the confection oven door. So, the retinol really helps with the scarring you know I mean it's still fresh you can see it's still red and I just keep putting retinol on it and rosehip oil and it does wonder on my skin it, and also I, I have the bio oil a lot of people say no nah, bio oil I'm not really into that it doesn't work or but it works for me um, it keeps the discoloration and the scarring at bay like it just goes back to its natural color it blends in it evens out the skin tone like I had a burn here somewhere and now you can't even see the scar and I have this uh, this is way earlier I have a bad habit of peeling them off when I'm not supposed to Let's just quit doing it so yeah, so that was my night routine and my morning routine. Nothing really complicated, it's quite easy and I don't use a lot of products. Um, it may look like I do, if you've seen, I'm not going to show you, but if, if you've seen how my dresser looks like and how my bath looks like, it seems like I have a lot of product but not really. Um, most of these products were given to me to try out. And I did, but I always stick to the ones that works for me well. I mean, it's nice to try things out every once in a while because um, I have this man skincare mantra that um, every 30 days I switch up because I don't want my skin to get used to the same product because I feel like once your skin is used to that product, it doesn't work anymore. So like... Like right now, I'm using the retinol from Paula's Choice and after 30 days or once I finish the bottle, I'll switch back to the Ordinary and same way with um, my peptide. I have a peptide 
that is from the rituals but i also have a peptide that is from drunk elephant and i also have a niacinamide from drunk elephant and i also have marula oil from drunk elephant so i switch them up every 30 days so that my skin um doesn't get used to the same product and then it doesn't work anymore at least that's how i feel it that's how i notice with my skin so i don't know if the same for everyone i suppose it's not and um yeah i highly recommend the ordinary i have never had problems with it but you can go and try do a patch test and if it works for you i'd be very very um uh, happy for you too and um, if it doesn't there's a lot uh, there's a plethora of choices of good skincare products out there you just need to find the one that works well for you like I did. It was quite a, a, a journey for me to find the product that works well. And I'm so, so happy right now with what I have been using and with the results that I'm getting. So good luck everyone with your skincare journey. And I hope that this helps you and it gives you some idea of what you can use and what you can try. And if you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new in this channel, please subscribe. And if you want to get notified for every time I put up a new content, hit the notification bell. Ciao!